Collectors and consumers love to refer to this two-piece pad as the bikini pad, but Charles and Reams weren't thinking about uh, the bikini when they designed this. When they did the uh, steel wire uh, chair and they were looking for a strong, lightweight chair, and I'm not that strong and I have no problem lifting this, um, they realized that the steel wire could use some upholstery. And the first thing they came up with were these one-piece pads. Now, the need was for a comfortable uh, seat, and the one-piece pad certainly satisfied that, but the one-piece pad took a lot of material, it added weight, and weight adds to the cost, and extra material adds to the cost. And the steel wire chair, when it was first retailed, I believe was around $29. And so they thought, well, what can we do? We still want it to be a comfortable chair. How can we make it a better value? And they thought, well, let's remove everything from the upholstery that isn't necessary. Sure, some people can buy a fully upholstered version, but they developed this because they took away what wasn't necessary. And ultimately, this shape, which, we, which seems to resemble a bikini shape, was an example of, of can we still give a comfortable seat at a lower cost? So this is $29 with a one-piece pad. It's $22 with the uh, so-called bikini pad, which again is a name that the public gave it, but not what Charles and Ray were thinking about. They were thinking about giving a better value to customers while still giving a comfortable uh, place to sit.